Are you wondering how to strike through in Smartsheet? Well, if that's the case, then you've come to the right place because today I'm gonna to be walking you through all of the different options that you can set up. So the first thing I've done here is I've just created an example sheet. And as you see, I've just added some text that I want to strike through. So if you just wanted to do one cell, all you need to do is head to the formatting panel at the top and you're looking for the strike through icon. It's about halfway across and you merely click it. Simple as that, no problem. If you wanted to have everything in a row um, strike through, if that's a correct word, then let's say I'll put this in here. I'll just put text in there. Then what you would essentially do is you would select the row and then you'd also hit the strike through icon and you'll see that it's uh, selected here. If I click off, it will disappear. If I click the row again, it will have the strike through. If you click it again, that will obviously remove it. So that's really, really useful. However, you might actually have a use case where you only want to strike through when certain conditions are met. So for instance, when something is complete. Well, if you, if you want to do that, then you're going to need to do two things. First, you're gonna to want to have some kind of checkbox column. Um, so I've, I've included that here. I put that in before I started recording the video. Uh, this could be say, I just call this complete actually. Um, and this could be a task if you like. Um, so you'd need this checkbox column and then what you'd need to do is you would need to set up some conditional formatting. So to do that, you want to head up to the top again and you want to select the conditional formatting icon. Now here you simply run through this little process. Um, we're gonna start by adding a new rule. Um, we're gonna add this new process and that is gonna enable the strike through once this task is complete. So the first thing you need to do in the process is set the condition. So if you click this here, so what's the criteria? So if complete is checked, because that's what we want, it, it shows it's complete. Okay, so if complete is checked, then apply this format. So the format we want would be the strike through. So again, you wanna click the icon and then so make sure that's there. And then you can specify whether you want it to be the entire row, the column itself, or um, just, yeah, just a, an individual um, cell as well. So I'm gonna do it to the primary column because I want the task to be strike, strike through. And of course you can, you can add colors as well if you didn't just want the strike through. Hit okay. Now I've got that, I'm gonna save. So that's now in place. Um, so hopefully if I check this box, this will strike through as you can see. So one of the other things with the conditional formatting is you have the option of either um, disabling the rule. So you might not want it always active, but kind of still there in the background if you needed to, to have it kind of installed again, or you can delete it. So that's kind of really, really useful as well. So that really is how to strike through in Smartsheets. If you found this video useful, then please do hit the like button and do consider, consider subscribing to my channel. Uh, I've got over 65 videos on Smartsheet training alone at the time of recording and there's a lot more to come. So if you hit the bell button as well, you'll be notified of when I release those new videos. Uh, and I'm also releasing a Smartsheet training course. So if you hit the, there's a, a link in the description below that will take you over to my website and you can register your interest and you'll lock in an exclusive discount as well if you do so. So with all of that said, I hope you have an excellent day.